Hey, back with another lick of the week. This is uh, November 10th, 2008. And uh, continuing in the single string D primer series, I thought now we would try to add some uh, chromatic intervals into the mix here when we're making licks. So before we talked about using the uh, scale pathways between frets 1 and 5, I thought now we could mix in some ideas that uh, go a little outside that like we've done for the other videos and try to include some chromatic notes. Now for the D scale that we've gone over in this location in and around this D chord shape or the number two shape uh, you have uh, a few chromatic notes that are pretty handy and, and close by. You have an F note which is a chromatic note. So you have D, E, F sharp is your first scale notes. You're skipping over the F so there's your chromatic note. All right. E, F, F sharp, and then you have G, either open or here, and then G sharp, and since we're not going any higher than the fifth fret, I'm going to find my G sharp here, then A, uh, B flat, which is a chromatic, uh, B, and then C, which is a chromatic, also a blues note, C sharp, which is the scale note, and then D. And then D sharp either here or on the first string. Then E. There's your chromatic note again. F sharp. And then either G open or G here. So you've got just a handful of chromatic notes you can work with that are really conveniently placed in and around this chord shape. So let's try using some simple ideas at first and then we'll kind of build up from there. Uh, since we're doing single string, of course, I'm going to use thumb index or maybe thumb middle or a combination of those. And most Scruggs style players are already familiar with this walk up. Of course, they use it in the context of something like a Scruggs idea. Say like John Hardy or some other team like that at ground speed. So you're actually using this. Uh, but instead of doing like your average strokes player, which would be to use the thumb for those notes, try to use thumb and index. And what I'm going to do is construct an idea that actually starts single string and then finishes out with kind of a roll pattern. So I'm going to go open three, I'm sorry, open four. There's your E, F, F sharp, and I'm going to grab the A. And then I'm going to play the open B and the open uh, D. So I have, as far as a pattern goes, four, 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 three, two, one. And so you're actually combining single string with kind of a roll. So even though this is a single string primer <laughs> that we're talking about, you, the majority of this leak is single string bass. All right, now, since we have an F note here, which would kind of give a function as a blues note here, I wonder if we could come up with some uh, single string licks based on this note. What if I went from F to F sharp and then open? Uh, and then did a chromatic walk up. So I have D. I mean, I have F, F sharp, D, F, F sharp, G, D, F, F sharp, D. So the entire lick is on the four strings. All right, now since we have two D strings, I can do the same lick on the D string. Slightly out of tune, <laughs> Now again, you know, like we talked about before, this could be uh, D licks that you use in the key of D, you're playing out of a position. So if you're playing in the key of D without a capo, of course you're going to be playing a lot of ideas here. So if you shift from scrubs to single string, a lot of the same ideas, although different style we're going to evolve around you playing in and around this chord shape. So it's a good idea to practice as many of these uh, derivations of licks as you can right here because when you switch from strokes to single string 
or even if you decide to play an entire melody single string style, it's all going to revolve around this chord shape in one way or another. All right, so we have this. We have this. This version on the high D. All right, now what if we use maybe the F note again? Instead of doing a lick like with a slide, we could actually play the individual notes. So instead of going, instead of sliding into that F to F sharp, we could already have the F sharp down, I'm, I'm sorry, the F down, and then use another finger to play F, F sharp. And then G above it or the open fifth, whichever you prefer, and then back to F, F sharp, D. So with just a little slight variation of your left hand, you get a different, what I call a greasier effect. By planting a note, you get a similar lick but a different feel. All right, now what if we use the F note in a and you can do what we call a chromatic walk down. So any any series of those notes that are chromatically placed, there's your F. And I can go right over here to uh, D sharp, which is a chromatic note. That could be a lick in itself. F sharp, F, E, uh, D sharp, D. So you can make it, you know, you can come up with all kinds of variations of that. So experiment with the chromatic. places you can find the chromatic notes, because there's only a handful here, and you can get some licks with that. Uh, now, since we did this lick in the beginning, there's a really cool uh, ragtime kind of walk up. It's a pretty cool lick in itself. You're going to do the same lick as the first. Start with open D, and you go to D sharp here. And what this is, is a D flat lick. So this first lick is actually a D, and then we're going to drop these two fingers down, which should be familiar to you if you're a stroke player. We'll drop that down to a flat position, D flat. And you still have the open... Uh, second in the open first, so it's four, 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 three, two, one. Now you can come back to the first idea. Now you can finish it out with a chromatic walk up on the first row. And again, you can break that idea down and use it in different ways. A lot of players have experimented with moving this around. Alan Shelton. It's really an old ragtime kind of feel idea or uh, an introduction. Sometimes it's an in intro for a lot of ragtime pieces. But again, you can experiment with it. Use your single string idea. Mixing in the chromatic notes with the scale notes, like we've done in the other primers for G and C, is going to give you a ton of fertile ground here to come up with your own licks. Just use some of the ideas I've expressed here in this video as a jumping off point and see what you can do with that. And uh, so that'll take care of the single string pretty much as far as the primer goes for frets 1 to 5. 
next video, we'll move up the neck a little bit. Thank you very much. See you.